everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you this look right here. Um, I posted it on Instagram the other day and quite a few people liked it so I thought I should do it. And I named it Pink Lemonade. I think you could be able to guess why, you know? And yeah, and right now I'm in a random space again because the house being done up. So obviously this wall isn't painted but my mum has installed a light up mirror here so I was like, huh, yeah. But when I'm actually filming it, I'm in my bedroom because I didn't realise, like whilst I was filming it, I completely forgot I had this here. So the sun was starting to go down, I was like, oh my god, light up mirror. So hopefully next time, well I don't know, I don't know if I'll be filming here again because I'm going back to my uni next week. So yeah, I just thought I'd explain why this is different, it might be a little bit echoey in here because it's a bathroom. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So first off, as always, I put my hair up. And I'm going to prime my lids with the Um Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm taking the Morphe Brushes 35C palette today and taking this white and cream eyeshadow and I'm mixing it together with a fluffy brush and just buffing that all over my lids to stop it from creasing. Then I'm taking this pinky colour and a brown colour just as my transition shade. And I'm just sweeping that back and forth so it's as smooth as possible and blended. Then I'm taking this very bright kind of fuchsia pinky colour and what I'm doing is dipping my brush in the tiniest bit so it just gets a light wash of it because I don't really have any colours like this that are kind of a bit lighter so what I'm doing is I'm using this eyeshadow as if it's three different shadows so I'm first dipping my brush in really lightly then I'm taking a blender brush like this that's kind of it's denser and smaller and then starting to slowly pack that colour on and keep adding and adding and going back and forth with that fluffy brush I used before and keep blending then I took a, pack, a denser brush again but a little bit bigger and I packed a lot more product onto it so it's very highly pigmented and pink and just made sure I kept going in with that old fluffy brush again. Then I'm taking a mixture of a darker plum colour and a pinky colour again and just defining the crease that little bit more and making it more deep. Back with the same fluffy brush. Keep blending. Keep blender on. Oh yeah. Then I'm taking a flat shade of brush and taking this bright yellow and I'm just packing that on all over the lid into the inner corner and just keep packing it until it's as bright as you want it and go back in with that fluffy brush again and blend it out. That first day, I don't like how it blended, please ignore that. It looks a bit orange currently, but yes, you get the gist. Then I'm going back in with that same brush and putting the yellow on the inner corner and lower lash line to the centre of my lid. And then I'm taking the older fluffy brush again and taking that pink and buffing the lower lash line out and blending it into the yellow. Then I'm taking Becca Champagne Pop by Jacqueline Hill and highlighting the inner corner. And then I'm taking my trusty Rimmel London eyeliner and I line my eyes off camera because oh god eyeliner is so difficult to do on camera. I'm taking my YSL um, mascara just so that I can coat them before I put lashes on. And the lashes I've used today are actually a pack, a multi-pack from eBay and I'll link them down below but they're amazing. They were like a pound and I'm using the Duo Lash Glue and I thought I'd buy a load of lashes from eBay just to see what they're like because it's so cheap and you're going to throw them away after they get a bit grotty and they're great and so yes, I'm just joining my lashes here again and going over the white glue areas with the eyeliner. That is the eye look done. Then I'm taking MAC Lip Liner Saw and lining my lips with that. You'll see me use this quite a lot. I'm still stuck in that trend. I love it so much. And Velvet Teddy by MAC as well, just to lighten it up a bit. So that was my makeup tutorial. I hope you loved it. And just leave me some suggestions of what you might like next time or whatever, or what you thought of this. 
I really like and I thought it was very spring appropriate. And yeah, it's so pretty. Oh, homie. Oh, homie. If you'd just like to follow me on whatever my social medias are, which is usually Lara Osterkin on Twitter and Instagram, and give a thumbs up, comment, whatever. As you can see, I don't like saying this bit, it kind of creeps me out. Don't know why, so I do this all the time. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So I will buy part though. What the fuck is this? We have Chinese now, back.